Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear people of Southern Cameroons, may the peace, mercy, and blessings of our Creator, the giver of life and the taker of it, be upon you all. Let us pray. Let us pray to God for wisdom, for the strength to choose of it, and the will to endure. On the 11th of August 2022, I was abducted and rode to the hospital with my very ill mom. Today is the 11th of August 2024, exactly two years after my abduction. Yet we are here. My dear people of Southern Cameroon, I choose to drop this audio despite its risk because of its very necessity. Again, because the course I'm in is greater than myself. I'm greater than what I have in private and in public. Our redemption, my people, is within the grasp of truth and consistency. Because truth, indeed, in and of itself, can only be defined with consistency. I understand today better than I did yesterday. Liberation struggles are very lengthy and tiring journeys. But who told us it was going to be different? What imaginations did we have to think otherwise? Have we not read this in the Bible? in the Quran, in the books of history, in our experiences in life, that nothing good comes easy, that it is with patience that we get anything which is meaningful and viable, sustainable and recognizable. Have we not learned so? We do. Behold, the liberation struggle has drained the weak and the strong will still be here let me remind myself and you that no new leader is going to emerge none the liberationists of our generations have shown their face they are known it is us that will look in the mirror answer the questions change our behaviors and continue the journey the honors is still on us. I pray that we do. I'm making this audio for one reason only. I think every Southern Cameroonian knows exactly what we must do at this particular point in time, at the 11th hour of politics in the Gulf of Guinea, at the dawn of differences between men and boys in the middle of the night of hope between death and life yes we do know exactly what should and must be done but I bring to you serious immediate issues serious humanitarian issues if you remember prior to my abduction Never did I make a statement on any facet of our struggle without focusing on survival and sustenance of our people captured in different jails in Cameroon, in Southern Cameroon, as well as the IDPs. That I did based on information that I gathered from our prisoners of conscience. Today I'm one. I'm here for two years so I know and I know more I see southern Cameroonians priding with so much money on social media in weddings in cultural activities actually showing off with 
hard currency, pouring them on artist, bride and groom, of course it's your prerogative. But I want to remind you that we shall all die and go back to God. We have innocent people who for doing nothing except that they want to represent you in a cause of your choosing. I say your choosing because whether you like it or not, you are from Southern Cameroons. Whether you endorse the process or you did not, you approved of the movement or did not, there comes a time where some people have to stand up for even the dead ones, let alone those who do not agree to one change to come. We have people dying in jails, my people, because they cannot treat malaria, which amounts to 2,500. Our people cannot feed twice a day in these dungeons. As a matter of fact, some days they don't eat at all. Little kids who don't even know where they are. If you ask them out of this prison now to go back home, they don't know which way they would, which direction to take, left or right, south, east, north, west. They don't. They are here in Dwala, they are here in Yawundi, some are in Edea, and all of them have now become drug addicts simply because they have no option seek your conscience especially you the diaspora of southern cameroons what pain will it cost you what would you lose what hair will it drop off your head if you made it a duty just to drop 10 or 50 dollars monthly imagine we had just 100 people doing that to help sustain people who don't know when they are going to be free from the hands of evil i'm begging you consider this please the yawande kondengi central prison has over 270 inmates some of whom are women who did nothing you know what it means for a woman to live amid 5,000 people think about the toilets Think about the sanitation. What will it take for you to keep yourself healthy in such an environment? In the Kondengi principal uh, prison, we have about 50. In Bafusam, we have over 100. In Duala, over 100. In Boya, over 800. In Bamenda, over 900. And scattered in different cells and hidden prisons and jails all over Life of Little Cameroon. Seek your conscience. We are getting blind. We are all developing arthritis, asthma, back pain, BP. Some are actually dying. Some lack no those who choose to go to court. These kids who have hope that the court may release them and the court does release some have no lawyer to represent them because of 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 friends. Seek your conscience. I also call on the people on ground zero. You can do it, my people. I know it is not easy for you. But if you made it a duty to donate just 100 francs, 300 of you donating 100 francs every day or every two weeks would help nourish your people in jails. We thank those who are doing so already. We thank those who are making efforts. But trust me, it is never enough for prisoners life is extremely different in here believe me when i tell you this i call on you to seek your conscience ask yourself the question what is the purpose of your life why are you allowed to leave why are you allowed to be free when your brother is in jail do you not think it's because god wants you to be tested whether or not humanity counts for nothing if we die today and we can you would cry and maybe raise funds then so that we can be buried but you don't care whether we eat or not this call i make not for myself as i said earlier i recognize that this course is greater than me and whatever i possess 
but there are people here who need your help i'm begging you reach out and help that is all i want to tell you reach out and help the poor people dying because of hunger illnesses drugs in prisons because of you it is because of you it is because of you and it is because of you remember that i thank you for standing strong otherwise and remember that we stand together until freedom it is a matter of time we shall be free i'm not in this prison for nothing i continuous didn't die for nothing baby matter mommy happy sam soya and over 15,000 today didn't die for nothing you are not in exile for nothing indeed we shall be free thank you so much it is with my love that i end this note and with a cry to your conscience that I terminate the call.